Okay. Uh, I gave some outlines out this morning, and the reason why I did is uh, God's been dealing with me really about how important it is that we all have deeper understanding. So I gave these outlines out. Here's how this teaching is teaching is casting out the spirit of confusion. Now Lisa texts me. I don't know why the woman of God felt like she needed to text me. God woke up in the wee hours of the morning to give her a word. So she felt like she had to text me to give me the word. Amen. <laughs> and I'm so glad she did. I'm so glad she did. See, here's the thing, precious ones. Here's why she did that. It's because the word was alive in that moment. Mm. See, it was alive in that moment. And so she could not allow that moment to slip away without releasing it into other venues. And so when she released it into my arena, it's like I shared with my wife, uh, my wife said, uh, well, maybe the word was, because she when, when you woke up, I started telling, when Emma woke up, I started telling Emma about the word. And she said, well, maybe the word was for this reason, or for that reason, I said to Emma, I said, it doesn't matter. What other reason the word was for? The only thing that matters is the word was for me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. See, and here's the thing about me. When I receive, when someone shares with me, I, they, they, now she's sharing what God is sharing with her. I'm not trying to figure out why God shared it with her. I'm trying to figure out why she shared it with me. Because <laughs> <laughs> Holy Spirit said. <laughs> see, see, but, but let, 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 let me rephrase that. Let me rephrase that. Let me, let me, I, see, I know why she shared with me, so let me rephrase it. Why did the Holy Spirit tell her to share it with me? Why did the Holy Spirit impress it upon her spirit? Release this to him now. She could have told me that later. Mm. Mm. She could have said that. I mean, I got my mind. I got, you know, I'm more, I'm thinking about what, how we need to do service more, what God wants to say. I got my ear too close to the mouth of God trying to figure out what's happening in this arena. Right? So, I got to ask myself, what are you saying to me, Lord? And so this is where this teaching came from. And at least it's going to come in a moment, and we're going to go deeper into it. But I just want to give you, just take these two past scriptures, talking about casting out the spirit of confusion. Now, she did give me a scripture, and I didn't look at the scripture she gave me, uh, that she sent me, because I just saw the text, and I read casting out confusion, and I, I, I read a little more, but then I... Sent her back, oh, that's interesting, let's talk about it later. So my Holy Spirit started dealing with me about it. And so one of the things is I was talking with Emma about it. Emma said, well, uh, one of the ways you deal with the spirit of confusion is through edify, edification. And I knew that was God speaking, so I went over, go with me if you will, let's over to Ephesians chapter 4. Ephesians chapter 4. Now I want you to understand that uh, God creates, and this is what I, this is what God spoke to me as I was reading what He shared, what Emma said, as I began to meditate on that. God creates, and I wrote it down here, so you have any notes here. God, God authors kingdom environment within the believer first. In other words. Kingdom environment is authored in you. Just like God's the author of faith, or Jesus is the author of faith in you. So, he authors kingdom uh, environment. And what does that mean? Kingdom environment means there's a peace on the inside of you. There's a calm on the inside of you. There, there, all of the components that go with uh, kingdom activity. And when I say kingdom activity, that includes healing. It includes, and now uh, I have to be careful with this word because so many uh, people have taken it, so many preachers and people have taken it the wrong way, but it's still uh, 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 incorporated in the Greek term uh, for uh, kingdom. It's uh, uh, authority and prosperity. So that prosperity can mean so many different things. But the biggest thing prosperity means is no lack. Mm -hmm. 
So kingdom environment is being released on the inside of you. God is authoring kingdom environment on the inside of you. And once you master kingdom environment, you take that out to the world. You release kingdom into other people's lives. This is what God calls being an ambassador for the God. In other words, I represent the kingdom. God says to me, wherever you go, release kingdom. Release what? Release his peace. Release his power. Release his healing. You know, it's interesting that Jesus says, go out and heal the sick. He doesn't say, go out and pray for the sick. Mm -hmm. It's interesting. Why? Because we have kingdom on the inside of us. But so often, precious ones, we don't have kingdom on the inside of us. We've got, we've got uh, confusion on the inside of us. Another word for confusion is we've got chaos on the inside of us. We're mad about this. We're upset about this. We're scared about these things. Instead of recognizing that no matter what's going on inside of me, my God has got it. And he's causing all things to work together for my good. See? See? So, so the, the adversary wants us to, to live in confusion. And so when, she, when, when Lisa gave that word, I was already in, I was in tremendous confusion because I had so many things going on. So many, so many, and I, I, I come on, I, I'm going to be honest with you. Uh, I, I, I don't have to be nobody's pastor, and you don't have to, you don't have to love me. I don't need your love. I want your love, but I don't need it. I was in Ephesians chapter 4. I want to read verses 11 down to 13, and then I'm going to go over to the meat of this thing, and then Lisa's going to come, and she's going to begin to share with me uh, this morning. Verse 11 says, uh, of Ephesians chapter 4, and he himself gave some to be apostles, some prophets, some evangelists, and some pastors and teachers. Watch this. For the equipping of the saints, for the working of ministry, for the edifying of the body of Christ, till we all come to the unity of uh, the faith and the knowledge or, or uh, and of the knowledge of the Son of God to a perfect man to the measure of the statue of uh, the fullness of Christ. So we're saying, I'm saying to you, God is empowering you. He's authoring kingdom environment on the inside of you. See, you can't operate fluently in the gifts that Messiah has released. These fivefold ministries, I don't care how, uh, I don't care what gift you have. If you don't have kingdom, if you're not kingdom minded, if God has not re uh, produced a kingdom mindedness on the inside of you, you're going to pastor people, you're going to pastor them into a ditch. Yikes. You're going to call yourself evangelizing, but you're going to be pushing them further away. Why? Because you don't have clear understanding of kingdom. And, and one of the ways you can know you don't have clear understanding of kingdom is like God told me, son, you got a lot of confusion going on in your head. And Lee knew I had a lot of confusion going on in my head. He didn't say anything. Amen. <laughs> You know what I told you in the warehouse? Amen. I said, you got to slow down. Come on. Amen. <laughs> you got to slow down. <laughs> Amen. Amen. See, see, precious ones, and, and thank you for that. You did say that, man, God, but, but by then I was I too far invested. I, did, I, I heard it, but I didn't receive it. <laughs> and that's why we get to return the favor by going before the Lord every day. Oh, man, that's so good. And saying, Lord, that is so good. Help so slow good. down. So good. Because precious ones, if we don't keep our focus on the God of glory, the alternative is, is that he will allow you or he will not violate your free will. So if I'm worried about this, I'm worried about that, come on, worry, worrying about something will not cause God to answer your prayer. Mm -hmm. You can cry all night long, you can worry about it, you can bite your fingernails till they're bleeding. The, what God has put kingdom on the inside of you so that you can believe him for whatever it is you have need of. Amen. And what that means is, like this, like I said, um, I, I was one of the things we, I had volunteered to help a friend. And it didn't turn out the way I thought it would. 
And I was beating myself up for that. I, I must have repented for that. If I repented a thousand times, I repented a million. And I can't tell you how many people said to me, God's going to be glorified in it. No matter what you say, God's going to honor your efforts. God's going to honor your efforts and be okay with that. But see, when you operate, when there's, when there's confusion and when there's chaos, you can't receive. It's so difficult to receive. I couldn't receive when Lee said, brother, you need to slow down. He could see I was, I was going, I was operating on all cylinders, and he knew sooner or later this brother's going to crash. Yeah. So he said, slow down, man. Guess what? That wasn't him. That's God speaking through him. And then with Lisa, giving me that word this morning, casting out confusion. That's what we want to do this morning. Mm -hmm. How, all, any of us that are dealing with any areas of confusion in our lives, today you will have divine clarity. Amen. 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 Another thing we are saying here in self-condemnation, comes from that confusion too. Self come on, come on, come on. You, you're absolutely right, woman of God. I was hearing you say, Lord, said self. Then we get into self condemnation. You know what that is? That's exactly what that is. When you are assuming the responsibility for the outcome. There you go. And it don't go the way you want it. And it don't go the way you want it to. See, you, you, the, the result you start condemning yourself. I could have did this. I could have did that. I could have did this. Instead of saying, oh, Lord, come on. Come on now. Thank you for what you've done. Thank you <laughs> for what you've done. Just thank him for what he's done. Amen. How many of you know? Come, come on now. <laughs> the Bible teaches us that the answered prayer is in the thanksgiving. How do you know that God, here's what the Bible teaches, that God gives you a yes and an amen before you even ask. So we can come to him. What what say, woman of God? She's singing. Go ahead, girl. Go ahead. I, said, I was singing all your promises are yes and amen. All your yes. promises are yes and amen. Come on now. 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 Come on. Amen. Amen. And we understand that. See, and when, see, that's having a kingdom mindedness. Under, see, when you have God, when God has authored a kingdom mentality on the inside of you, no, there's no room for confusion. There's no room for it. So, this, so we're allowing God's kingdom environment on the inside of us to begin to arrest all confusion in every way. Go with me, if you will. We're going to, I'm going to end with this. We're going to bring Lisa up. I just want to hit some bullet points in 1 Corinthians uh, chapter 14. 1 Corinthians chapter 14. Pastor, when you're talking, I hear Lord say, He said, He is putting the spirit of confusion on the run. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah. He says, put that spirit on the run. Come on now, amen, amen. When you amen. preach it, I can feel it. Lord said, amen. he's putting that spirit of confusion on the run. Come on now, amen, amen. You, amen. amen. That, 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 come on, come, come on. on. You're preaching. You, you know what, we on. should, a preaching should yes. put whatever demon is in front of us <laughs> to flight. Come on, come on right. now. That's That's right. Right. <laughs> See, you know, precious ones, again, confusion, chaos, these things keep us from experiencing the reality of God's kingdom on the inside of us. Am I right about that, Mother? That's right. Self-condemnation. Self-condemnation. Come on now. Amen. Put them on the Amen. Run. Come on now. You no, know, love is patient and kind. Mm. Come on. Not only God's love to us, but our love to ourselves. Yes. Come on. Is patient and kind. There's no condemnation in Christ Jesus. Amen. Say it again. Amen. There's no condemnation in Christ Jesus. Mm -hmm. Romans 8, mm -hmm. 1. 
you know. It's a done deal. It's, it's a, a done, done deal. deal. I never heard of a done that's, deal. It's a done deal. That's kingdom mindedness. Yes. yes. That's good. It's kingdom mindedness. So we're, we're there, in the, now watch this, uh, I want to read uh, verses 30, I got, I put on the note there, 32 and 32, um, <laughs> I spent double 31, th double 32 portion, twice, man. one, uh, 32 one, twice, one, twice, one, twice, one, twice, one, twice, Whoa, so, explanation, there explanation. you go, there you go. Um, I think you know, first, that, that's, first three, right? Yeah, well, 32 and 33, right, right. right. 32 and 33 first is what that should have been. 14. Yes. Okay. First Corinthians chapter 14, I want to read verses uh, 32 and 33. Now, he says here, And the spirit of the prophets um, are subject to the prophets. Now, before I go into uh, to 30, 33, I want you to understand what he's talking about there. Now, we saw in Ephesians chapter 4 that he released these gifts, and these gifts flow in harmony. When we have uh, when when we have what God the, the king when we're kingdom minded, these gifts harmonize, they flow. And I didn't read all of Ephesians. Uh, I think, yeah, I did, yeah, I did. But let me just break it down, what he's saying there in Ephesians. They flow in harmony so, to, so that we all can be empowered to become Christ-like. That's it. See, see now, that, that is the formula for showing up in the world in Christ-likeness. All five of those gifts flowing in harmony. So if all five of those gifts are not flowing in harmony... Why are they not flowing in harmony? Because there's confusion. Because there's chaos. Jesus. And when you allow confusion or chaos to enter into kingdom environment, you'll end up like with Solomon's son, splitting the kingdom. That's good. See. And once you split the kingdom, you have diminished the kingdom of power. And the adversary flourishes in a weak kingdom. Yes, he does. Mm. He flourishes when the kingdom of God is weak. He flourishes. And how do I know that? Because I can't tell you how many times Jesus walked up in the synagogue and a demon sitting up in there happy until Jesus shows up. <laughs> See? Whoa, have he come to cast us out before our time? Over and over again. See, the adversary wants the kingdom to be weak. He wants chaos and, and, and confusion to flow within the ranks of the body because he can thrive in that. He can have you oppressed in your mind. He can have you full of fear. All of those spirits, they, they flourish in chaos. They flourish in confusion. And we've got to understand that, saints. We've got to understand and listen. And the only way we can deal with these things is to be kingdom-minded. See? So, he says, watch this. He says that, so, so the, the, first of all, we keep each other in check. The, the, the prophet is subject to the prophet. That, that, that's all the gifts. I'm, I'm making myself subject to my brothers and sisters. I'm not putting myself above my brothers and sisters. I've done that, been there, done that. The results are catastrophic. Mm -hmm. You don't want that. You want kingdom environment. And in order to get kingdom environment, I humble myself. And my, me and my brothers, we flourish, my brothers and sisters, we flourish together, acknowledging each other's giftedness and celebrating what God is doing in each one of us. We honor each other. We honor our elders. That's kingdom environment. And in kingdom environment, God's prosperity flourishes. In kingdom environment, God's healing flourishes. In kingdom environment, sound-mindedness Flourishes everything that we have need of. We grasp it in the king in, in the kingdom environment. 
This is why you've got to push out that spirit of confusion. So he says, now, now the reason why, the, the, and now he's using the prophets here, but that applies to the body. We're all subject one to each other. Hold me accountable as I hold you accountable. And here's why. Watch this, what he says here. For God is not the author of confusion, watch this, but of peace. As in all the churches of the saints. Now, I wrote down, uh, I, I went into the Greek, and I want to just read these very quickly, and then we're going to have uh, Sister Lisa come up and just share more into what God was saying to her. Uh, the Greek word used uh, here for uh, prophets is uh, prophetus. Uh, it said it means uh, an, an, an interpreter of the revelations of God of other uh, hidden things. Someone moved by the Spirit of God, God's organ or spokesman. An organ is something that provides nutrients. It serves a, 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 a very powerful purpose in your health. So the, 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 this, this, when he talks about the prophet, he's talking literally about the household of faith. I mean, you know, we all are prophetic by virtue of having the Holy Ghost on the inside of us. Now, so there are some that operate in the office of the prophet, but we all are prophetic. Why? Because we represent God. Come on. We are the sent <coughs> ones. And we need to understand that. We need to understand that I need to show up in the world looking like Jesus. And the only way I can do that is if I'm exposed to the entirety of the giftedness. Mm -hmm. And, and it's only, the only way the entirety, and I know I'm, 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 I'm repeating myself, but I think it, that, that we need to be a repetitive when we're talking about things that are the, of the utmost importance. Yes. So the only way that, the, the, that I can experience the full magnitude of the giftedness in the body of the called out was is if there is the removal of confusion or chaos. Where that, where that allows the giftedness to flow in harmony to produce sound belief. And each one of us, I'm telling you, I see each one of you. You may not see it, but I see spiritual growth in each one of you. Getting stronger and stronger and stronger. And, 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 and I see it. Now, here's what we do. Here's what we will do. We try to feel it. <laughs> see, you can't feel spiritual growth. It's not a feeling. You just know that you know that you know. I'm not the same as I was yesterday. And I'm getting stronger and I'll be a stronger believer tomorrow. So he says that now. That then he says that though. Uh, so, it's, I, I, so then I, I put it this way. Uh, God does not orchestrate chaos. He's not the author of confusion. Uh, the Greek word for confusion is uh, a catastasis. Well, <laughs> hello. Yeah, go on there. <laughs> I, I'll go with that. Amen. 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 <laughs> so, uh, but it means um, instability, a state of disorder and uh, disturbance. If these are the things that's going on on the inside of you, they didn't come from God. Mm -hmm. That's right. See, and, 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 and if it didn't come from God, send it back to the person that sent it. That's right. You put on there, come on now, return to sender. Return to sender. Come on now. Come on. Amen. We have to understand this. You have been gifted with kingdom on the inside of you. Rise up and walk in it. 
Rise up and walk in that which God has provided for you. It's yours. Do not allow chaos and confusion to override the gift of kingdom on the inside of you. Mm -hmm. Amen? So, so, then we go on. He says here, uh, not, he's not the author of chaos or the author of confusion, uh, but of peace. Or I put here, God is our peace. Not only is he the author of peace, but he is our peace. His peace abiding on the inside of us. Holy Ghost abiding on the inside of us. Presence abiding on the inside of us. What is that? Peace abiding on the inside of us. And if you have not tapped into it, it's only because we are not, you have not learned how to operate in the discipline of keeping your ear close to the mouth of God. And I'm telling you now, I, I'm just, I'll be honest with you. I've been walking with the Lord for 31 years and I still vacillate. One minute I got my ear close to the mouth of God, the next minute Emma's telling me what to do. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. That's the voice of God. That's the voice of reason. You just stand in the house. A woman I, you know, know what? Lord said, for, 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 said when the Lord said, 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 when the L
You know, I think I've told y'all about the gentleman that said, I operate in all five gifts. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Then he explained to me why he said that, and it was it was so in line with certain sacred scripture. Well, she says, she's four months pregnant, she says, yes, and uh, when I have my baby, it's going to be pain-free. Wow. No labor pain. I agree. I went, okay, well, that's kind of weird. But, uh, you know, I didn't say it out loud. I'm thinking that. But then, come on now. But then she began to give me scripture yeah. after mm -hmm. scripture right. after scripture. Mm -hmm. Why? Right. She bagged right. it up with the word. So she wasn't just saying willy-nilly stuff. That's right. She that's was right. establishing in her spirit six months in advance. What was your, going to happen? Your battery is getting low, so you had to. Yeah, that's your battery. That's your. That's, that's <laughs> me. <laughs> oh, me. Oh, okay, battery's getting low. Okay, well that's okay. Those on Facebook, uh, we typically finish ministering long after you all. We all Facebook anyway, so it's, if, if you if you go off and if it cuts off on you, we love you, and we're praying that you get some release of chaos. All confusion in your life today. So, um, so if we might run out of battery, if somebody ahead. has knee pain out there. It's on the outside of your knee. I've been feeling it all during the service, so I'm just gonna say right now, you are healed. Mm, come on, healed. Mm -hmm. That knee pain goes right now. All the inflammation healed, head to toes, right now, in the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 We are beautiful. It's so very beautiful. So she uh, she began to speak the word. Six months in advance. How many of us have gotten to that place in our lives where we're speaking God's uh, God's conclusion in mm -hmm. advance? I've been doing it. Come on now, why? Because God says His all His promises are what? Yes, yes and amen. amen. So yes. you can speak them in advance. Mm -hmm. All right. So uh, Emma is way in advance. I'm saying time for Okay. See, you know what? See, you you you, you now everybody just witnessed that, right? <laughs> Everybody just witnessed Holy Ghost in the room. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't get a witness. Ten more. Ten more. Ten more. Ten more. Ten more. <laughs> okay. Mother, 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 mother Glory said it was it, it teamwork. Praise the Lord. Okay. It's union. Okay. So, so uh, Sister Lisa, why did God give you that word this morning? Tell me. Uh, tell us specifically what He said. So, it started out where He started talking to me. He's Holy Spirit told me, God is not the God of confusion. I'm like, okay, I need a little more information. <laughs> so then later on he said to me, my yoke is light and easy. There should be no strife and busyness. I'm like, okay. So I'm at the gym working out. He likes to talk to me at the gym. And he really started downloading. He's like, he said, you need to rest. You need to let me love on you and heal your wounds from the previous battles. You will not be ready to help in the next battle if you do not time, take time to rest with me. Mm -hmm. says, I want to stop you just one minute, and I will stop you periodically. I want everybody to please understand God's speaking to her, but He's speaking to you. Mm -hmm. Now, each one of you, I'm sure, even as she's speaking, I, there's things I can identify with what she's saying. And the reason why God said it to me was because that's the way I deal with I deal with pain or trauma by busying myself so I don't have to deal with it. Mm -hmm. So I, I just get so busy where I don't even have to sit and think about it. Mm -hmm. Okay, go ahead, woman of God. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Let's, on the spot. Um, let's see. Um, it says, I love the work you do for me, but when the work is a burden, it is not done in love. Mm -hmm. Snap, that hit me hard. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. He said, the enemy is using your love to confuse you into thinking that you must be doing my work and never resting. Mm. Well, can, can I ask, yeah. ask anybody, is there anybody is that re resonating with anyone in the room? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Amen, 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 okay. He says, Satan wants to deceive you into going back under the law, doing works. He said, the Father took a day of rest. Why would you not need rest? You are made in His image. Then this morning he reminded me that Jesus would go into the mountains to be with the Father and rest. 
He's like, I gave you the example in my son. He says, I need you to be ready for the next battle. I'm a loving father. Do you think I want, do you not think that I want you to be full of peace, love, and joy? Mm. Kingdom. Mm -hmm. Kingdom, mm -hmm. yeah. King, I want you to be full of kingdom. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's good. Yeah. And the next part is a strong caution. He says, let the works you do be done in love, not obligation, pride, or fear. These are not works that glorify me. That's Amen. good. That's good. Kingdom. I, I, I'll tell you what, I, can't, I, I, I just, I'm, I'm being rebuked <laughs> even right here because I tell you, uh, so much of what I do is out of fear. Uh, so much of what I do a lot of times uh, and not intentionally. It's just the way you're wired, you and, and you want to be accepted. And the thing is, when I do that, uh, I'm not I'm not satisfied with God saying to me, "Well done, my good and faithful servant." I'm not satisfied with that. You know how many how many of you yeah. really you know when you 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 want the you're not you're not doing it for that, but you you appreciate the accolades of me. Yeah. Or you just don't want to talk bad about you. Come on, that, that you know what? But that's the same. It's just it's on a lower level, but it's the same. I want people to speak well of me. Yeah. I want I want people to speak well of me. I want people to say, well, brother Graves is you know he's there for you. He's this. He's that. And 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 and. and you know, there's nothing wrong with that because God does that. God is the one that says, well done, my good and faithful servant. God says, this is my beloved son in whom I'm well pleased. God does not have any problem with giving us our flowers. Mm -hmm. He just doesn't want you, like Sister Lisa said, he doesn't want you doing it for that. Mm -hmm. To be your motive. He doesn't want you to be driven That's that to be it. your motive. Yeah. Okay. Check that inner spirit, mm -hmm. that yeah. inner heart. So, amen, amen. Amen, 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 amen. So, did he instruct you on, you said, now you, you said, you said casting out the spirit of confusion. Mm -hmm. So, so how are you going to do that, woman of God? So, for me, personally, I am in a different season right now. I have spent a lot of time on the battlefield. And I have recently been pulled off of the battlefield with the death of my father. Okay? And, you know, he is talking to me. You know, it's like I am a, I'm a person who, I'm a doer. Okay? And he, he said to me, he says, if you don't take time to let me love on you, if you don't take time to have your wounds healed, you will be no good to me, and Satan will use me in those wounds. Yes, he will. And you know what? I'm not allowing that. It is Amen. not happening. Amen. It That's is good. not happening. I will listen to my father, and I will take the time I need. Amen. And I will not feel guilty because that's what the enemy's in your ears. Yes. I can't believe you're not doing yes. this. You know, that's that's like, self-condemnation. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So, so having said that, can we all just repeat after her what we will do? Can we just make a declaration? Yes. What was it, Sister Lisa? Okay, so we're just going to agree with yes. you, Father, yes. to take a season of rest with you. Come on. Where we receive your love. Come on. Where we love ourselves. We love ourselves. And we let our wounds be healed. I let my let wounds, wounds be healed. healed. So we are prepared. So, so we I am prepared, prepared for the next season. For the, the next season. A battle. A battle. Hallelujah. 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 All right. Hey. Take that one down. Hey, baby, baby, baby. Come on now. He's under my feet. Now my victory is complete. Those there on Facebook. Well, I pray that you really got this. Mm -hmm. Meditate on this. Mm -hmm. And uh, 
Um, maybe I think I might just post the notes and even Sister Lisa's notes if we can get that posted later on. Mm -hmm. uh, go to our Facebook channel, uh, I mean our YouTube channel and subscribe. You'll find some of the dynamic teachings there. A lot of uh, our, our, our brother Travis is putting uh, uh, the uh, segments of today's broadcast uh, on our YouTube channel. We thank God for him. Uh, but we do yes. need to get those subscriptions up. So also feel free to comment. Feel free to comment as well. Meet feel free Facebook, to comment. Yeah, Facebook, YouTube. Uh, we really need to get those uh, subscriptions up. Right. Uh, invite a friend to go and visit now. It's, we're going to change it over to Christ Discipleship Ministry uh, website, uh, YouTube channel uh, shortly. But right now it's under uh, Morris Graves Jr. So find that and subscribe to it. Uh, we really appreciate you. God bless you. Have a godly week, precious one. Amen. All right.